So if you've been paying attention to the news, there's a lot of news about war. And in fact, I was just thinking the other day, wow, it's been a long time since we've had a mass shooting. Lo and behold, the Lord giveth. That was complete and total sarcasm, by the way. I, I don't, I'm not happy about a man. Yeah, we here now, stupid. <laughs> so, this is the headline from CNN right here. Mother of mass shooting suspect called Appalachian High School with warning after getting alarming text, grandfather says. It, it does seem like there's a, an alarming pattern with how they have warnings about these guys and tend to do nothing about it. So the mother of the teenage suspect teenager suspected of killing four people during a Georgia school shooting called to warn a school counselor prior to the shooting. The suspects aunt and grandmother said Saturday, maybe that's, this is like a CYA thing. Colt gray 14 apologized to his mother, Marcy gray on the morning of the mass shooting at Appalachian high school, sending an alarming early morning text that prompted the mother to warn the school. His grandfather told the New York post Marcy gray's father, Charles Pol Polamis told the New York post that his daughter was, at his home in Georgia on Wednesday morning when Colt texted her to say, I'm sorry, Mom. Colt has been charged with four counts of murder after committing a mass shooting earlier this week at Appalachian High School in Winder, Georgia. Prosecutors said he will be tried as an adult. Marcy Gray broke her silence Saturday, apologizing for the absolutely horrific shooting. I, I can only imagine what it would be like to be the parent of a shooter like this. I mean... You might want to commit suicide yourself if this happened and your kid did it, you know? And I'm not saying we should afford them a ton of sympathy because at the end of the day, the kid's 14 years old. It is your fault, the fact that he, A, had the wherewithal to, to do something like this, and B, had access to guns like he did. I mean, any parent... With a 14-year-old who has access to guns in this environment is definitely, you know, sharing a little bit of the blame when we come when it comes down to it. So let's keep going here, though. I am so sorry and cannot fathom the pain and suffering they are going through right now, she told Washington Post in a text. I mean, to be fair again, she's probably going through similar pain because she just lost her son. It's not the same, though. The mother called the school about an unsuspected extreme emergency involving Colt sometime before the shooting began. Gray's sister, Annie Brown, told the Washington Post and later confirmed to CNN. A 10-minute call was placed from Marcy Gray's phone to the school at 9.50 a.m., the Washington Post reported. Police were notified of the shooting around 10.20 that morning, CNN previously reported. Marcy Gray later confirmed the call to the Washington Post, which reported Gray declined to elaborate on what had prompted her to call in the warning to the school, but she s said she had shared that information with law enforcement. And of course, the outrage was swift and palpable. And I loved what um, this guy right here had to say because I have made this connection several times on my own. A lot of people don't. But the connection between the violence here in America and the violence that we export all over the world on a constant and never-ending basis these school shootings in some form or another are, a, are blowback really for the type of, you know, stuff that we export around the world. Now, how that kind of evolves, you can, we can debate the, the, you know, semantics of that, but I would argue that the violence here at home starts with our foreign policy. So this guy says, I've got to say the liberal outrage with regard to school shootings falls a little flat when they're sending bombs to Israel which has destroyed literally every single school in Gaza, slaughtering thousands and thousands of children. And that is a very salient point that no one uh, in the main, well, excuse me, I don't like to call it mainstream anymore. The legacy media, the legacy corporate media will make 
as they uh you know feign outrage over this and continue to do nothing about it. <laughs> 